What's up YouTube? It's your camera boy Jovanai and currently we are at 4320 subscribers. Say hello to my beautiful wife Natasha. In today's video we will shoot her. As you can see we're in a very beautiful place here in Tulum, Mexico. An amazing Airbnb. Like look how crazy it is that this is an Airbnb. Well it's not my personal Airbnb. It's the courtyard of all the Airbnbs. Anyways we're going to shoot here with a 24mm 1.4 Sony lens. One of the reasons I really like shooting with this lens in beautiful environments is that you can actually capture a nice portrait of a person, in this case obviously Natasha, but still seeing the amazing scenery because why would you go to an awesome looking beautiful place and not shoot it? So we will capture some shots of Natasha on the screen here and I saw that we have these trees here that actually kind of perfectly align to frame her. So let's grab some shots like this. If you're shooting for Instagram, I also always like to take my shot just a little wider so you can crop in later. But if you want the maximum amount of blur, obviously then going as close as possible. I see these leaves here. Let's maybe try to use those as a foreground element. Yeah, it's a really, really amazing lens to shoot the environment and portraits at the same time. You gotta be a little bit careful because it, dis it does distort. Let's just say if we go very close, to okay. Natasha's face. Sorry, Natasha, this is gonna be not the most flattering shot, but <laughs> it really distorts if you hold it in strange ways. It sometimes can be nice to shoot a model in. Ooh, Natasha, spicy woman. We asked Natasha to sit down because that's gonna give us a little bit more control over the shot. Sometimes you want to have crazy poses and yeah, that might not be so comfortable. Sometimes you just wanna go with something more easy to shoot so it's comfortable for the model and you to actually get nice photos. So let's try to grab some shots like this. Dude, where the legs were floating, they can touch the water. Ah yeah, that's nice. And now, last arm, like this. What I like to do is sometimes just let the model flow, choose some different poses, and then see how it turns out, and just click when I feel like the pose is something nice to capture. Another cool thing about this lens is that it's just wide enough to be able to have yourself, for example, in a shot, kind of like a POV style. This is actually a POV in a POV, so that's quite funny. This is the frame that I see with my camera, obviously a little bit more cropped in. Uh, I'll show you guys here. And this is pretty cool, you know, I'm just lounging on the, you know, the sun bed while Natasha is very beautiful on the swing, posing, just a normal day at the, <laughs> the, at the the beach, well, at the Airbnb pool. This is, by the way, how I look filming these videos for you guys. What do you think of my cute, sexy bra? As you can see, I found another frame here, these very slim branches of the tree to frame Natasha on the swing. It's always cool to just move around, keep moving around, looking for other frames, all the other nice angles of the model and the environment that you're shooting. We're going to take one more angle of the swing and then I'll promise you we will actually use some other parts of the environment here to shoot some cool photos. What I also really like to do is get some shots more close up of the model or the environment, whatever you're shooting, and then get some more far away to give some more context to the entire shoot. We have these jungle Tarzan, I don't know how you call it, plants coming down from the balcony and it frames Natasha on the swing so nice that we do have to grab some photos like this as well. Maybe stand up because you're pretty small now, so I think it will be best to see you as big as possible. You almost don't see Natasha in a photo, but that's actually pretty okay, pretty cool. It just adds another dimension to the collection of photos that we have. I'll actually take one where I use my hand again for POV effect. Oh, the lights just turned around. That's pretty cool, actually. They reflect in the pool. They're there in a tree, nice bokeh. I'm sorry I can't get enough of this swing here. It's just too unique and cool to use. So right now we will use the swing as an element to frame Natasha instead of framing her on the swing. This is something I like to do during every shoot. I start further away from a model and then slowly I go step by step closer and try to get a different point of view, a different angle of the model and the environment. So we're gonna start here with really some shots that show where we are. Then here, one that's a bit closer, boom. And all of these have a different different look to it. Maybe I would like you now to watch me, Natasha. And now it comes almost to more of a portrait of Natasha. And I really like it, how she's looking and with this frame of the swing of her, we get even a bit closer. Just using the 
the bottom of it to frame her. It's really, really cool. Maybe you can um, interact with Natasha. You can with both hands hold the swing, yeah, but be far away from it. This is gonna create a lot of depth to the image because she'll have the model's arms are leading lines now for her face. You look amazing, Natasha. I think you guys already understand that framing is really one of my favorite things to do in photography. So now we will frame Natasha with these plants here, this tree and the one rope of the swing and take some photos like this. I'll actually back up again and start the same thing like before, starting from further away and then always going more close to her to grab the shot to get some variety in the photos. You really have to be on that side of the swing. Yeah, we're going to try something experimental. I'm going to swing and there's going to be POV in the photo. Not sure if it's gonna work, but it could be a really nice result if it does. So sometimes don't be afraid to experiment a little bit and get some more unique results this way. You know what, before I potentially maybe lose my camera in the water, let's actually just snap a photo. Like this of Natasha, the light is very amazing here. She looks very amazing. Let's do it, baby. Let's see how far I swing first. Okay, I'm not pushing Natasha if I'm here. Hello, Natasha. <laughs> ah. Okay, just grabbing a typical hold my hand, my beautiful girl photo. Ooh, Natasha, spicy little woman. Okay, it's too hot, so it's time to swim. Okay, time to swim. <laughs> Give my camera first. No, no. We'll jump, you will jump. No. This is very, very anticlimactic for the video. I thought Natasha was gonna jump in like a crazy mermaid. No. Instead, she's gonna crawl in like an 80-year-old guy that just retired and came here on a holiday. Don't, don't do this on, my, on this channel. <laughs> Go check out Vagabond Vlogs, by the way. That's a channel where we actually only shoot girls, only shoot models. So if you really like that, check it out. Link is in the description. See you guys there as well. I decided to go in the pool myself as well. I wanted to try this already for a long time. Shoot some photos pretty close to the water. Now that it's gonna be with a GoPro, I'm gonna put this baby down. And Natasha is gonna dip her feet in the water as well. And let's get shooting, Natasha. I'm not sure if you can see it on the GoPro footage, but right now we have a lot of backlight. There's some windows there. And that gives light behind Natasha always makes the model, the subject, pop more. And it's very, very beautiful. The sunlight is coming from there. That's illuminating Natasha. And then we have the light there in the back, which just gives more of that 3D effect, that pop to the image. So let's shoot some photos like this. Can you put them in? Yeah, yeah, perfect. It's always nice to have different legs, different elements from the body in other positions. It gives just a more dynamic shot. Put the other one also open. Like both on that one and then on your tiptoes still up and look down at the shot. Uh-huh, like this is cool. I want to take a more close-up shot from you as well. It's always good to have some variety in the shots. Keep your arm down, that one. Mm -hmm. You look very cute. At the, shot, the light is very beautiful on you from here. Okay, do something different. Yeah, yeah, stay like this. Now put both hands there. Yeah, so one just laying and the other one do it the other way around. That one holding. Do the same now, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, just do some something a little bit funny. It's a little bit stressful <laughs> with these cameras in the water here. A little bit hard to focus, but we're trying to look for some angles here. Oh, I like this. Let's get you more in the water, Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go, guys. No, you're still here. This is going to be a bit difficult. Opa. Hello, Natasha. Can you do your hair like a bit more even back so it has more volume? Or go through it, yeah. <laughs> 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 I tried. If you will be fully in the water, it will be nicer. Okay, let's go. So let's take one step back, guys. Sorry if you don't see everything very clearly now on the GoPro. Uh, yeah, just gotta watch out for a lot of stuff. Your head in the water there. Phase of focus. <laughs> Wait, this is looking like a strange scene now. <laughs> guys, this is uh, not that type of channel. Mm. Yeah. Stay there for one second. It's actually pretty nice, Natasha. Natasha is actually in the pool. You know that gives a little element of some motion, some emotion of somebody doing something. But the general idea is to take a photo without people, just to show the environment. Hello, sir. <laughs> yeah, just the one person is pretty cool. Give the idea of the, the swimming. I'm using a lot of leading lines here to grab some cool shots. All of the plants as a frame for the awesome pool. Time for me to jump in the pool. Woo. 
Okay, for today is finished. Uh, so, uh, yes, like and subscribe. <laughs>